setting themselves up instead towards Ivy with a triple burst over towards Machine, who is under a lot of pressure, but they're already finding a lot of open space. Fatal, a kill has been found, but Cat does at least respond with one. Jury tries to hold so hard onto this A bomb site, but not going to be successful in doing so. Machine cannot get his shots to convert. Neither can Henry, actually. So both talent members missing their opportunities, and Magic's able to save him. So three on two for the post plant. Three on two, but Machine is so low. And as you mentioned, with the post plant, it's going to put that much more pressure over on the side of the CTs. But Magic's, the played one in this position from Team Shoke, is showing us why. Full HP, USP by his side, and has already carved a path through the one head. Now, I don't believe there's any kits that have been dropped on the ground, and time is ever so low. I don't think he's going to be able to clutch this purely off the timing. So it's going to be first blood going to low, but Magic's with some nice one taps, but it ultimately doesn't really matter. Yeah, great stuff. I mean, and great shooting from Magix, but not being able to play around. Yeah, Loba breaking first blood and finding uh, a lot of early success off of this Ivy play, just bursting through, pressuring Machine and forcing him back into those those back hole areas. It was very difficult for Shoke to, to maintain control of that. I think they were very prepared for damage as you would have maybe expected. Magix is actually fighting on top of the red train, but has to be forced back by the smoke and Machine gets caught spamming. So an early pick, but they're making use of all these smokes and they're not accounting for all these angles another casualty here for shoke and holding on to this a bomb site looks like it's gonna fall inevitably shoke getting cut on the rotate and jurek last man standing one on four it is easy breezy here for lobo on a yeah, exactly. And, and it, it factors back to what we were talking with Heku in the opening segments there, that not only does Loba's team just look so deadly on paper, but Train is the kind of map that, let's be honest, the smoke lineups are not difficult. Most of us will remember going... Straight. We were saying these lineups are not easy, or are not so so hard to forget, I suppose. Um, but there were still a couple of missed smokes. So, you know, it's not as though they had perfect execution for that, but they were just able to make use of all that extra space. And like you said, it was all about how Shoke reacted. There was a, a lack of extra utility to, to make it easier for them to come back into that site. So, yeah, things are looking good. The, the up and up are a little projection as to which team looked the most stack does, stacked does seem to be correct for now. And that's really unfortunate timing there for Jurek. Thought about going and peeking deep in, in the white holes, but side of the bathroom area was going to be more advantageous. Looks like Loba are going to push themselves up to a 5-0 start. B site is completely unmaintained by the CTs. It's all about whether they can swivel away and find these kills. They do find the captain of their opposition, but won't be around win. Yeah, this is looking more of the same realistically. Magix may be able to pull out of there with the AK. That would be a small tiny bonus and they do have max round loss coming up as well they're gonna try and bodyguard magics as fatal she will go looking for a potential second kill and see if we can maybe get a second weapon as well but loba's playing this one very well the team is playing it pretty disciplined not running out not giving any weapons away some respect shown across still to the shulk members that are still alive but whichever way you sp about from the CT side, it's looking far too easy for the T's to push straight out of main. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, and higher. But see if Shoke can bring his troops in order. Right now, early mollies towards main, so trying to counteract any quick A plays, something that Loba have been doing a lot so far of. But Jurek's going to receive some pressure towards the B bomb site. Cat runs straight through to find that entry. It will get traded by the Molotov, so it's not without consequence. So taking space on B doesn't look possible at all. Loba have slowed things down, and we're waiting for Acor to maybe find an extra pick, but it was offered, but he doesn't hit. That's an exquisite shot from Kat, though, showing again why she is so, so dangerous and so scary to play against. Just a drive-by headshot. She had something all right to win that. She yeah. was running through a Molotov as well. But yeah, as you mentioned, they've slowed down the push. Magic's now taking the advantage and putting it in the favor of the Steam Teams. This is the first time the Counter-Terrorists have had a man event and it's been pulled back instantly two on two. And Acorn Henry are still alive. Not reading it right now, the double connector, but oh, the boost could catch them. Acor is so ready. Magic's gun barrel might have been spotted, but now do they expect that machine is also nearby? Should at least anticipate. Boost had to come from somewhere. Uh oh, Henry, dead man walking, and machine flubs the position. So, 
This is this is like one of those challenges I think you were talking about before you me in the pregame where some of these things may just happen mm. by almost mistake or accident because you know boosting is definitely a, a big part of Counter Strike. Oh. And Acor picks up the kill. I think that may have been a boost. Was there a play up on the good? Is no, no, no. Yeah. He was by himself. No, no, no. He, he was boosted. He he hundred oh, percent was. Yeah. Nice. So. That actually did look like it was a conscious effort to implement that because they hadn't done that boost before in main. So we'll see if they find some success on this round. Acor's actually just farming three kills over towards this A bomb site. Machine does get his towards Ivy, but he's left with Zurich on a late rotate away from this B bomb site. So getting this kill connector could actually open up the round or close it completely. Letney had to succeed there. Machine a one on four. Yeah, would not envy his position at all. There's one. Spins oh. around that a second as well. He has taken significant damage, though. 39 HP remaining. Now, we saw Henry get the upper hand on him last round. The problem here, though, is with the bomb being planted, it forces machine into awkward and you me. This has been a bloodbath. Yeah, it's they have been all over them from the word go. I mean, we saw how the pistol panned out. They took so much space. Even this round where machine makes it somewhat competitive, they were already something's got to shift, whether it's taking over maybe the brown holes control and maybe getting some, some flanking action over towards pop dog. Pressure has to be applied elsewhere because look at all the space that Acor's got. He's just crept himself out of team main and nobody is the wiser. Exactly. This has been a consistent issue. You know, we've talked about this a few times that the, the lack of main control on the CTs has been so prevalent. They nearly lined up for a two for one. Magic's very capable with the orb. Acorn missing a bit of a sitter. Uncharacteristic miss from him. And now he's gone down and bloodshed being spilled elsewhere on the map. It stands to reason for Shoke that maybe this isn't going to be an A hit after all, but they have to tread lightly. Three plays now making a move into Pop Dog. There is a smoke in the eyes. Now, the problem here for the T's is this is a very claustrophobic one dimensional push out you're very much likely to get sprayed down or off as soon as you make a move through. So the flash will precede the push. Now it's all about entry frags and they have them. Chat again showing why she is such a dangerous player. But Jurek comes back and it looks like finally Shok is going to get on the board. Unless Cat can go off a one on four. First kill does go in her favor. The flash not really affecting whatsoever. Oh. 44 seconds left. Another head has been removed, but the bomb in a bit of an awkward position can be picked up. This is winnable for Cat. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's certainly... That's very true. And let's be honest, a lot of the first picks have been from the AWP. Acor's got a ton of them. Magic Source in the last round was putting up some pretty big heavy damage. And he's seen the barrel of Acor's AWP around the corner. Come on, just it move. Could be our second oh. challenge, but no, he's taking a shot. And that means that the challenge cannot be completed. Well... Acor is still understanding that there's an AWP around that corner and Magic's atop the trains has been spotted. Oh god, that's not the peak you want to be giving Acor. Give him chances and he'll certainly hit. Opener found and that should actually allow Acor to have completed the challenge himself. Oh, secondary opportunity, but actually able to escape. No trade kill, Loba in fact flanking the player towards the, the back of the bomb site, and so this A site is losing their, their grasp on it. Loba even flanking too deep into, into spawn and we'll find more kills in the side. Loba's a genius. He just seems to be f finding all these kills with no real issue. No one looking the right direction. And Shoke, they're backed into struggling ways. Their money really not set. And Loba answer back immediately after a CT win. Yeah, and the really interesting thing about this, not only did Acor just secure his second uh, challenge, it would appear, but additionally, Lobe hasn't even been required to frag that hard so far. Like, he's one of the players we looked at thinking, right, this is going to be his domain, this is going to be his house. He's used to the running gun, he's used to the adaptability, the versatility that games like this will bring to the table. And you're looking at Cat, Let Me, Acor. Thank Loba still for it. Please show, get a kill. Yes, he was zero and eight. Now he's one and nine. You love to see that. Unfortunately, though, from his perspective, he was hoping to double up, but that didn't happen. Fate will go to the go in a little bit and try and carve a path through into another successful round. But Acor is snatching the life away of multiple players. Over on oh. Like it'll be overflowing any second now. And Acor puts another body into the dirt, making a couple. And this is why we said having a player of this caliber, of this potential on your team on a map like Train is just such a massive advantage. And now forcing away Shoke from the con side 
It's more of the same deja vu. Loba walks out with the rest of his team, takes aid control, and converts the round into an 11 1. Unless Shulk can pull off a miracle. And well, it's not going to happen this round at least. Cat takes. It's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Oh, good kill from Loba. And Lenny was there to sweep up the pieces. No success on these pistols. And no problems once again here for Loba. He's a, he's a challenge hunter, this guy. Acor seems to be still in, enjoying himself, taking the game seriously. He's doing it Sick all. Sick replay, by the way. That yeah. was really cool. Thanks thanks for giving us the assist on that one. So that's three challenges he's completed now, right? I think so. Yeah, no chill. One for one trade at the opening segments of this round is fine. But I feel like Shoke need a little bit more, something extra. Still two and two split between these sites, and that does leave the A-bomb site fairly vulnerable. You have to play so far back if you don't want to get caught out by any of the number of different uh, attack avenues that the T's will have. I see Loba's even crept out, and they don't seem any the wiser, but they're playing for a retake. <sighs> Good kill from Choke. From a purely neutral perspective, I hope that Choke and the rest of his team can take the second round and start the second half in positive ways. No one likes to see a complete and utter, you know, dismantling of one team. At least make it somewhat respectable. Pull back some of the rounds. Show us what you are capable of. Fatal, big for mass headshot onto Acor. The main heavy hitter is down, but Letney with 15 frags has been a bit overshadowed because of how flashy Acor's frags have been. He's been solid. He's been a man mountain of his own, but now he finds himself all up against the rest of the world. Magix has taken down his teammates, partnering Prime and our Magix. Point blank. It felt like he was targeted as a win condition for these games as well. We'll have to see if they can pick up the second pistol. Magix, of course, did have some late heroics in the first pistol, but it was too little too late. You know, he's more than capable of cracking open a couple of sites here. In the meanwhile, though, it's been slow and steady so far. Shoke not calling any too aggressive tactics in this one. Cat on the off angles and the box holes. And this is a fantastic angle. If it doesn't go checked from a flash or a nade, you're very susceptible to getting one kill. The thing is, the timing may have worked against her. She's not sure there's a second player to her left-hand side, but Jerk is completely unaware. He nearly gets his head removed as a result. And now a T is going to be pushing straight in. Henry holds on to the HE. This is going to be damage. This is a lot of damage that's inflicted, but it's at the cost of his life. And there's no one there to pick up the pieces. Shulk will have the bot plant and Magix has picked up too. Yeah, finally a trade back for the Loba squad, but three on four and this post plan is going to be very difficult to crack in. Loba, two kills and just spraying away. Acor as well, unchecked over at heaven. Fatal, none the wiser of where he's getting shot from. So it's a machine one on three that he cannot convert. It's double kills from behind for Loba to get this retake. And it looked so good for Shok to start, but it's a Shok choke on the pistol. Nah, it's my time now, and this is it. They line up for him, but still exquisite crosshair placement. Acor completely unchecked, and that's just more of the same. I mean not, I'm no detective, but you don't need to be to figure out that Lobo have a significant advantage here. Yeah, I think that is a, an elementary Dear Watson kind of approach at this point, yep. Don't have to be Sherlock Holmes. Loba is in a fantastic position, and when, even when you consider just the economic situation that Shulk finds, it's not as if they're coming into a 15-2 with you know, all the trimmings, they've got ops and everything else. Now they've got two rifles, one of which was the aforementioned M4 that Machine saved. And whereas they had so much success when they were on the T side, Loba through A main, Shulk's team just doesn't have the utility. They've only got two smokes, just a flash, a Molotov. It is so difficult to see how this team is going to come out swinging and win this round. The only positive is that Magix does have the AK-47. Maybe he can pull a rabbit out of the hat after all. Great flash and a great kill. No head armor, so Loba gets popped like a melon. Magix as well finding a kill on the smoke. So they are finding success and they are bringing this together. But Le uh, Loba having all these kills. Magix, an extra one as well from the back lanes. Cat can't get there in time to protect. So this might look like it's a uh, third kind of round. Remnants of a comeback. I don't even want to talk about it just yet, but maybe. I also noticed the machine just gets shanked in the back from one of his teammates. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I mean, might have done, but 
I'm surprised Magix went for this. I mean, it's it's another challenge. We have Scatterblast, uh, Shotgun Kill, so that's at least some bounty there for Magix. Wasn't sure they were going to hunt it down because of the fact that they're so far behind, but Magix still finds impact. Hey, listen, if we're going to get bodied, I want my $100. Yeah, <laughs> give me something at least. Give me that money. And our lobby... Lopra, I should say, trying to make a move through out onto the main side. Machine, though, sprays down onto Loba, so it's keeping Choke in this round, but Acor snatches the life away, and the picked-up AK is now doing work. It's all on Magic's 10 HP, and he's found one, but now he's been spotted around the corner, so his position is compromised, and he doesn't have control over the bomb. Trying to play mind games, last spotted team main, and trying to reposition round and hope that Loba don't account for it. He's so low HP, so he has to win these duels off of out positioning. Right now, Letney not accounting for it, but understanding the timing. And a shot to the